Hey guys, it's Damien here. How well do you think the Goose Guy S2 would fly with 3D printed frames? Let's put one together. I did end up using the Ender 3 Pro, which is a very beginner friendly 3D printer besides the one that's right next to me. So it is possible to print some of these frames all on your own at home. So the project probably took me a few weeks. The most important part of it was making sure the dimensions were right and making sure the whole locations were in their proper locations. I probably went through 20 to 30 frames before I actually just got it right, so I have a whole new respect as far as manufacturing these RC helicopters. So that's all there is to it. The thickness of these frames are just as thick as the carbon fiber ones, which is one millimeter. Of course, the material itself isn't as strong because we're using plastic here, which is a branded Overture PLA Plus household plastic that everybody ends up using for 3D printing. This is specifically for prototyping and testing only. I have yet to see this thing fly. So I figured I'd do that with you guys and let's go outside and see how it performs. Guys, that actually ended up flying much better than I thought. It ended up 3D flying without exploding, crashing, or falling apart. So that's definitely a successful check in my book. And I'm definitely interested in 3D printing a lot more parts for this helicopter. So if you're interested in that type of content, please like and subscribe to this video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.